refashioning a sweatshirt transformation that's coming up. Hello fashion sewers, I'm Colleen Julie and welcome to FSB TV. So we are going to be focusing on a sweatshirt. So the one I've got here is this navy blue one and yeah it really doesn't say much or do anything so I promise there's going to be no sewing involved. So all you're going to need is a pair of scissors and also a marker. So this is the shirt and I'm going to start off with turning it inside out. It's a little bit easier when you actually work from the wrong side of the garment because you can get the garment to lie flatter. So I am going to first of all start with removing the net bands because I want that to be really loose as possible. And the reason why I say you may need a marker that if it's not wide enough, then you can just cut into it a little bit. So obviously I'm going to show you that process as I am doing it. So my t my sweatshirt is now on the wrong side and I'll lower the camera down so that you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, that's now ready. Now let me just reposition the camera so that you can see what I'm going to do next. So there is my sweatshirt and it's turned inside out and I now have my scissors. So I'm going to start with cutting the band. Now there is, is there's a couple of ways you can really do this. It's, it really is about, you know, what option you prefer to go for. You can make a snip here or you can actually cut into the, to the band itself. But I'm, I want to save the band. Never know, you might need it for another project. So I'm just going to snip a little bit into the corner there. And then I'm going to take it. So what I'm doing is I'm going to cut as close as possible here to the thickest part of the seam here where it's actually overlocked or surged. And then I'm going to cut all the way around making sure I stay as close to the surge or overlocked edge until I get right round to where I started. And that is now off. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to stretch the band out a little bit. As you can see it's starting to it's quite big now and I may because like I said I, I, I actually want it to be a little bit off one shoulder so I stretch the neck first and then I'll try it on to see if I need to actually cut any more than that. See, I just put the band on. You can see how how much smaller <laughs> it is. So that's what I'm saying. So you may need the marker. So if I'm going to cut this any wider, then I'll probably just mark it here and just do it off one shoulder. So the band has released a lot more fullness there. So the next step is to cut the sleeves. So, because I want the sleeves to have some drama to them, just to give this shirt a little bit more interest, because it was very plain, very plain. So, I'm going to line it up at the shoulders there. And then, what I'll do with a couple of pins, really. So once it's lined up and I'm happy with that, then I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to make sure the seams of the cuff and the seams of the drop shoulder here are matching. 
and I'm going to just get my marker and just give a mark there I'm happy with so this is where I'm going to be cutting and then from this point to this point I find a halfway point and then from this point from that point I find a halfway point so I'm just gonna eyeball it yeah that looks about I'm happy with that and then I'm gonna go about here I'm happy with that so once I'm happy with the position of them I'm going to do three slashes one two and three so I've got both sleeves here and then I'm going to just go because I'm not sure how wide I want this to be I'm gonna go about there and you can just do this I would actually start off making sure you do it smaller just to make sure you're happy with how wide it's going to how long you want them to be and try it on and then cut again if you want them to be wider so I'm just going to leave it to there at the moment let me just see so I'm just checking yeah because what I'm going to do then is pull on these so it creates a bit more drama I actually think I'm going to do them a bit wider And all you need to do is just put it back into position you're happy with. Yep, they all are. And I'm going to just cut it a little bit more. Yeah. And there, and the last one. So you've got three openings there. So I have it on. I just I just put it over my cardigan that I've got on now. So yeah, I'm really I really am happy with that. But I do want the cuts to be a little bit more to the front. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So as you can see, then how wide the neck line is now. Let me just put my scarf in there. See how wide that is, just by taking off that ribbing for the neckline. So I'll probably wait. I know I will wear it this way and also just off my shoulder and that feels firm and stable and in place so yeah I definitely will be wearing this two ways but you're not seeing really that much of my arm so I'm going to cut this lashes a little bit further only on the front of the sleeve not the back I'm quite happy with the back I don't want too much to be happening at the back yeah I'm happy with that but I just want more of my arms to be shown so I'm going to show you how to do that next I'll just quickly whip this off okay there we go I'm back again Woo. so I'm going to turn my shirt Yep, should I turn it to the wrong side or the right side? Yeah, I'm going to turn it to the wrong side. So I'm going to do it now. And then I'm going to show you how to just extend those slash marks just to the front of the sleeve. So I've turned my sweatshirt to the wrong side and I've got my scissors and I'm just going to lengthen these slits so I'm working on the front so here's the neckline and I'm just going to get inside so I'm only cutting the front part of the slit um let's say if I go about that much about four centimeters about an Four centimeters, about inch, an inch, an inch and a half, and about there. Do the same for the next one. So I'm just making sure that I just get in between. And I'm only doing it towards the front of the sleeve. And finally, the third slit. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. And then just repeat it on the other sleeve. It's 
work shirt, so you don't have to be that accurate. But wearing it with jeans. And the last one. That there. So yeah, hopefully that will do the job. And then one more thing I'll show you. So before I just turn it to, now I'll, put, I'll turn it to the right side. Whoops. Oh, the next lead. Right, so it's now on the right side now. And then I'm going to tease the slits a little bit just to give it a bit more of a worn look. So let me show you what I mean by that. So what I'll do is, is I'll just pull the slits a little bit like that. And you can see it's starting to curl. And the reason why it's curling is because it's a knit and it's been cut. So it's behaviour as a knit that it just wants to curl. And the reason is, is because knitted fabrics are, if you like, woven in a sense, in loops. So it just curls back on itself. The amount of curl will depend on what type of knit you're working with. But just pull it like that so that they curl. So they have this kind of worn look to it. Give it more interesting detail. So that's what the effect that you get. And let me just show you the difference between the one that is just cut and how I've just stretched it. See that looks more textured and more detailed and more worn. <laughs> I'll just do the same with this sleeve as well now. And this project is complete ready to be worn and I'll show you what that looks like well you've seen the thumbnail so you have an, an idea what it looks like but I'll um, take some more pictures so you can see how it looks so there you have a sweatshirt a refashioning of a sweatshirt just to transform it into a different looking sweatshirt cutting off the neckline cutting off the neckline and then slashing it into the sleeves because now you know to give drama to the sleeves statement sleeve I suppose what we can refer them to as so there we have it so there we have it a sweatshirt that has been refashioned so I hope you enjoy that project and I hope you do give it a go and also if you want to if you can use hashtag Colleen Geely or hashtag FSB TV and I can actually see your projects um, once they are completed so I hope you do give this a go and um, if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and when you subscribe don't forget to hit the bell that way you get notified when I upload videos and also do check the community tab because I want to post there much more frequently so that you get some input of what I'm doing because at the moment I'm quite busy and I haven't been uploading because I'm involved in a couple of projects at the moment um, and I want to share that with you at the right time. So please do give this video a thumbs up, do share it and also make sure you come back to the channel for more awesome fashion sewing tutorials and I will see you next time.